The project presented today is an opportunity to understand how outside resources can help in urban school districts prepare students for the ACT. Although this project alone will not solve the problem of preparing for the ACT completely, it will greatly help those students in need of preparation for the test. In the high school environment, many students find it difficult to find college preparation information. In many situations, at-risk students are the first among their family to consider higher education as an option. At-risk students have a limited idea of what the ACT is, why they need to take it, and how they should prepare for the test. Although there are free resources for ACT preparation, most are hard to find and many are out of date. Kansas Kids at Gear Up works specifically with at-risk students at the high schools in the district. I was a college access mentor for two years for Kansas Kids at Gear Up, where I worked with Topeka High School students. During that time, I noticed that there was no official ACT preparation workshop at the school. Although Gear Up provided an hour workshop for the students taking the ACT, that was not nearly enough information to fully understand the scope of the ACT. Analyzation. The biggest issue for students was time as most of the workshops and tutoring were done after school. Faculty and administration were enthusiastic about the idea of a more in-depth ACT preparation workshop, although most had difficulties finding the time or the space to do it. The solution? An asynchronous online ACT preparation course. This solves the problem with time, finding a room, and cost of materials. Design. By better understanding the ACT, it will boost students' confidence levels as well as reduce test anxiety. After the course is complete, students should be able to understand the general format of the ACT, get an idea of the questions that might appear on the test, learn some helpful tips, and find sources that will further their preparation. This course is set up to use correspondence through email. Students will send assignments and tests to the facilitator. The facilitator then will comment, grade, and email those assignments and tests back. This will have a user-friendly interface and will discuss the following areas, who the facilitator is, a tutorial of the website, resources, standards and policies, and a blog section. The website will also discuss the four main subjects of the ACT, English, reading, math, and science. The writing portion of the ACT will not be discussed in the course because it is optional on the test. Development. The website was made using Dreamweaver following the design blueprint just mentioned. Content was gathered and organized in the website. Videos, visual aids, and graphics were made to align with the subject matter. I tested the website on all major web browsers to test for inaccuracies, plugin problems, and formatting issues. Implementation. From April 8th through the 12th, 2013, I carried out a beta test of the ACT preparation website. The beta test was both synchronous and asynchronous, as students had to meet at the same place at the same time every day after school, but were encouraged to do the assignments at home. Furthermore, students could browse the website on their own time and could work ahead if they needed to. By working ahead, on their own time, it also helped those students who had multiple obligations and couldn't make it to the workshop every day. Evaluation. Both formative and summative assessments were given to the students during the beta test. Formative assessments came from subject tests, observations, and surveys. Summative assessments were given through pretests, post tests, and surveys. The Addy model really helped make this project a success. The ACT Preparation Online course could be used as a research tool as well. Thank you for this opportunity, and I look forward to discussing how this course can be effective for your school district.